great oh, that's fast. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be firing up the Civic for the first time with a new turbo kit and I am pretty keen to see how this sounds. Uh, but at the same time, I've been working at this every night for the past like two weeks. So kind of getting tired of it. I don't really know what's going to happen, but uh, I guess the plan for today is to get the car on the ground, get everything buttoned up and on the road driving, hopefully put a road tune in there. Uh, so it's ready for the dyno. I just want to put some K's on it and next, the following Monday, we're going to take it down to Haltech to use their dyno. So pretty exciting. Got my little one there helping me, the other little one there helping me. Um, but we have a short list, which we're adding to, um, of things we need to do before we can fire it up. So last night I spent a few hours knocking up the patch loom. So the idea is to bridge the, the factory ECU connectors uh, to our new Howtech Elite. Um, so what I've got here, uh, it's an ECU header, the white one, uh, plug into our factory ECU connectors for the factory ECU connectors to our Haltech 34 pin amp connector. At the same time, we've also put in a Deutsch connector for the, uh, the main uh, CAN bus network on the Haltech um, and also a second Deutsch. This is an eight pin for our sensors and in the future we can add pins to this connector. So yeah, it's not a very straightforward process. Uh, making a harness like this takes a lot of time and effort. So I am going to make a separate video eventually. And if you are interested in that, please let me know. I have put into a Google spreadsheet all the pinouts uh, for the factory OEM P2K ECU going into, with each wire going into the Haltech Elite. So hopefully that will help someone. Uh, but if you are interested in that, let me know. Um, so. Anyways, the goal for today is to get the car running and hopefully ready to do some Ks uh, before hitting the dyno the following Monday. Got a mate coming over to help this afternoon, uh, but I'm going to get started this morning. It's going to be a good one. Well, we're off to a good start. We have a coolant leak. Coming from somewhere up there. And look who just showed up. Going on. First Christoph, startup. first startup, yeah. Send it with a coolant leak. No, I think it's behind the manifold somewhere, maybe. Or the ICV. Better check that out. Put the Milwaukee camera out. We found it. It's the manifold gasket. Oh. That sucks. <laughs> Um, well, it's super, why is it dark here on the gasket? It's all wet. Hmm, that's what it's taking on. I guess it could be coming from... Is this un clean? Yeah, it feels clean. Mm. <laughs> Bit of a rush job earlier. Bit of a rush job, that's it. Gasket's just drying off in the sun. Let's go have a look at it. Yeah, it's getting dry. Hopefully, hopefully this is the last time. This is definitely the last time. <laughs> <laughs> it's already overheating. What are you doing, mate? Well, if, if we don't really have much vacuum hose anywhere. And we've got quite a big vacuum fitting on this lovely Turbo Smart wastegate. So I'm just, just clearancing out. <laughs> clearancing just, out the hose. clearancing out the hose here to slip it on the barb. Send it. All right, I think we're ready. Uh, <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully we're ready. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, uh, coolant leak seems to have sorted itself out. So um, yeah, kind of my fault. I didn't scrape it off enough, but uh, sort of now. So I actually have a base map loaded onto the Haltech already. We've been using this in my mate's car, James's car. Uh, so it shouldn't have much difficulty firing up. I just know that the cold start needs a bit of work. So let's fire it up. Oh, we should prime it, hey. I can turn the injectors off from here. Oh. I think we're good. Yeah, I think it suits. Oh, turn it back on. Fire in the hole. That's 
Factory. <laughs> so good. Set wide bands not even on. Idle's beautiful. Yeah, that's so easy. No, no, stock plugs. I, I have another set of plugs. It's very rich at the moment. Yeah. Let me see if it needs to clear out. Oh, it's very rich. Yeah, I just uh, took some fuel out. It's good. Sounds good. All right, it's going really well. No leaks. Let's try. It took a long time to bleed all the water out of the system because the radiator is so big. Uh, but it's all working now, working really well. So I think we're just going to tidy a few things up and then we might go for a bit of a road test. I don't know what happened. I think uh, my son might have walked into it. Start it up. We're going for a little bit of a red tune. That turbo sounds amazing. So good, actually. <laughs> Listen to it. Everything look alright? Yeah. I'm just going to watch our air fast for a bit. <laughs> Maybe the I, I wasn't even looking at the uh, boost pressure then, but I reckon we're about seven, six, that, seven that, that, that was a good pull. Uh, APSI. APSI. Oh, that was, yeah, that was a 6,000. <laughs> That's so good. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but the whistle is insane. That's fantastic, bro. <laughs> That is fantastic. Uh, I haven't even made any adjustments. Uh, it feels great. And the... We'll go... Oh, next one will go left. And the, the power delivery through the RPM feels really good too. Yeah. Like it's not... There's no lows or nothing. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it's really That's good. good. That was third gear, really slow roll on. And it yeah. felt kind of responsive. Uh, I mean, I've had a sip B18 sip too. I feel like this will keep up. Turn left. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Chris is like, no. The, this here. could. If anything, I think it'll beat Marcus's Skoda. Oh, for sure, beat the Skoda. <laughs> no problem, beat the Skoda. Coming for you, Marcus. All right, first test drive was a huge success. And um, yeah, I think uh, I really need to take it out on the open road a bit more. So we're going to get the, the bumper sorted out. I'm giving Chris some of these JDM fog lights. <laughs> <laughs> We found the best tool for the job. The walkie <laughs> die grinder with an AliExpress. Oh, Ali. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a thumbnail. That's a thumbnail. Chris is gonna take it for one last spin before he says goodbye. <laughs> what a beast. Hammers, does it? Yeah, this thing's really quick, eh? <laughs> this is coming from a guy with a 320, 30 kilowatt V18 oh, turbo. The, the, the DC2 probably makes 160 kilowatt, yeah. and this feels like very similar, like pull to that. Mm. So. I doubt it'd make 160, I no, reckon. No, no, it won't be there, but it'd be. I reckon uh, I'd be happy with 120, 130, yeah. It just sounds like. Yeah, yeah it's, the whistle is amazing. Anyways, That's pretty good. thank you for your help, That's as great. always. Anytime. See you in a couple of days.
couple ten, of days. Ten days time. Ten days time. <laughs> All right, it has been a really full week and I have done 270 kilometers on the Civic, uh, which is pretty good considering it's still untuned, it's running really rich and um, essentially quite untested still. Uh, but there's been nothing wrong with the car, it's just been running really well. And I feel like it's a good time to change over to ethanol, so we're gonna drain what's left in the tank and fill it right up with E85. So while the rest of those fumes are trickling out, I thought we'd come over to the software to make our changes, which are apparently very straightforward. So a huge thanks to Howtech and especially Brad from Howtech. You're a legend, it's been so helpful. Um, so he's let me know I can try these settings and it should just uh, run and drive until we get to the dyno anyway. Um, so just under the fuel tuning tab, coming over to fuel type, select ethanol petrol blend, although we're running pure ethanol. 85 just 80% and it should just start just like that I don't know fingers crossed smells good <laughs> smells good my wife was just looking at me weird it smells good oh don't miss this there's just too many benefits to 85 Burns cooler, burns cleaner, less risk of detonation, runs some more ignition timing. It's good for the environment. Oh, we're full. That's all right. That's good. Fires right up. Let's go check the air fires. Yeah, the cold start with E85 is not always as good as 98, so... It definitely smells better. Alright, so this turbo build is finished. And E85 was the last thing I wanted to do. Um, and it's done now. And it's been so weirdly smooth sailing. I don't know, I hope that's not a sign that something will happen on the dyno, <laughs> but you really never know. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments how much power you think she'll make, you know, guessing comp, you might win something. Uh, so the target is 12 to 14 PSI on E85, trying to be conservative, want to keep it safe as well. So let me know what you think, uh, maybe use some decimal places just in case someone guesses the same number, um, but yeah, uh, it's ready. And in the next video, we're going down to the dyno. So I'll see you then.